Oh no! When you finish the last of the Florida water. Yeah, you could definitely put it into something like this. Obviously, it's not the whole bottle in there. This is water, and then I mix some of this in there. Um, but yeah, it's another little, I guess, modern way to use Florida water um, with some, some tech and cleanse your space if you want to. Some snacks. <laughs> Checking in. Today's plans got completely derailed because I had sort of like a friend emergency come up this morning that took more or less over four hours and it was much needed and it provided so much clarity and growth and I'm so glad that um, you know we were able to have that moment but that also meant that all the plans that I made today got you know kind of pushed down and then I'm gonna have to pick some of those items and throw them down into the rest of the week so the plans today are as of now I am going to trim a little bit of my sister's hair but then I'm also going to actually to give my mom a full cut and then I also told my mom that I was going to help her out with some um, exercises for her back so I'm gonna try to record as much as that as possible oh and then I also have a reading planned later with one of my friends the one that I've exchanged readings with on a weekly basis. So that's going to happen. Okay. ¿Para qué usabas esta tecata, mamita? La cáscara de, de, la, la, la cáscara de granada es buena para la vomitadera de los niños. Y es buena también para el empacho porque limpia, limpia el estómago. Y también es buena para que no les peguen. Hay muchos niños que al comer les pegan aguras o hipo uh -huh. y también con esto no les pega uh -huh. y tú dices que sirvía que cómo era la receta que ella usaba para um, el empacho la cocía con canela uh -huh. y aceite de olivo de comer ese del pomo muy chiquito plástico verde que vende en México yo me acuerdo que tú nos dabas de ese también sí. y con ese nos daba y con ese nos sobaba Y adiós empacho.
She's obsessed with filing. So, and I'm glad too because it's my least favorite thing. <laughs> oh, you're like a baby over there. Yeah. <laughs> Final result short, square, and black babies. Just in case you're wondering where the heck I'm at, <laughs> we are up here looking for Christmas stuff. We don't have a lot, but um, I believe this right here in front of me is our tree, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that looks like a tree. Wrapping paper, random flower wrapping paper. Probably was for a birthday, but it got tossed up here. We're gonna bring it down and I have no idea we're gonna set it up or how because we do have two crazy kitties. We have had one like time where we put it up and we had one of the cats, but now we have both of them. And the second addition to the family of the cats is extra naughty. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but um, I'm gonna try to get this down. I'm gonna get somebody to come and help me because it just seems like the safest and smartest thing to do right now. I found one bag of ornaments, but it is so pitiful. Like I just wanna crack up and I don't remember having only one tiny little box of ornaments. So I have no idea what happened to the rest of them. Yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. Like, what is that? First of all, all those tears is from the cats already trying to get into them, so that's great. <laughs> and then when we get into this bag, this is all I'm seeing. Like, this one box, and... Oh, and, and look. Just, just in case you think I'm making this stuff up, but, you know, if you have cats, then you know the situation. <laughs> yeah, no puede dejar nada en paz. Oh, <laughs> so cute. But... Yeah, I need to find <laughs> the rest of them.